Look, who game shit? Like, I ain't come to play with these niggas. Get the drink, we win, they strip. How does he get caught? Don't slip, have Seth pop out. Eight shots in the clip. Can't change on my brother, that's law. Dumb nigga found law with a that bitch. Lame niggas can't get in the game, man. Never gonna score, trying to shoot from the bitch. Better not, I'm swinging that ox. Really hot niggas down, trying to rest it up now. We see green niggas playing, I stand to a side. I'm gonna rest it all in the top. So your boy at the studio, you know what I'm saying? And that Benet Jones hit me up, told me he wanted me to go ahead and lay down a track for him. You know what I'm saying? Get on the mic. Of course, this is what I do. This is my passion. So I'm definitely going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm getting to the bag at the end of the day. You got the bad biddies up in here. You know what I'm saying? Giving me that motivation that I need to keep going. And this lit, we finna turn up, smoke, drink, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up a little bit, have a good little time. And I'm just ready to show everybody what I got in store. What's good, gang? How you feeling? How you living? You know what I'm saying? Shit, bro. I'm cooling for real. Like, I'm glad you can make it. You know what I'm saying? Nice to meet you. I'm Debonair. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with my music and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, I've heard so much about you. You know what I'm saying? You didn't tell me about you also saucy and shit so yeah like i'm i'm definitely trying to hear what you what you got in store like you know i'm cool then but hopefully you know you got what it takes and that's all that matters you know what i'm saying type shit like that's what's up so i got you know what i'm saying my producer and stuff ready to go we'll make this track with you and stuff like that you know we can be getting it together drop that shit and yeah hell yeah because you know a nigga excited i'm real excited for this like i got so much shit that i was working on and i'm just ready to release a lot you know what i'm saying i've been thinking about maybe a album release party and everything like once everything done and shit you know i'm busy a lot but i'm free to do music because that's my passion like, i love making music i love writing my shit you know stuff like that so i'm excited to be here thank you for this opportunity and i'm ready to get in the booth right now so let's get it uh look who game shit like I ain't come to play with these niggas. The get the drink, we win, they strip. How does he get caught? Don't slip. Have Seth pop out. Eight shots in the clip. Can't change on my brother, that's law. Dumb nigga found law with a that bitch. Lame niggas can't get in the game, man. Never gonna score trying to shoot from the bitch. Better not, I'm swinging that ox. Really hot niggas down, trying to rest it up now. We see green niggas playing, I stand to a side. I'm gonna rest it all in the top. I don't who shit, never on out. Any snake in my circle, gonna leave it alive. I'm trying to queen, no time for the time. You thought I was feeling you bitches, it's pop. Getting daddy off, watch my old dude. Youngest in charge of my block, I'm
what's up my zabels welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back to another video if you're new around here hey what's up welcome my name is courtney but i go by giselle sims and come along on this journey with us and join the family go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that i do post them while you're down there go ahead and give the video a thumbs up because really over here okay the family would say period hey you guys welcome back to another video i said welcome back Welcome, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video, you guys. We are back with Hi Boys. What I want. Hey, we're back with Hi Boys. And as y'all seen in the beginning in the Machinima part, y'all know that my guy Flexo came to the studio and he actually met up with Debonair Jones, y'all. And if y'all don't know who Debonair Child, <laughs> if y'all don't know who Debonair Jones is, he is from Hotties in the Valley, y'all. He did the Hotties intro song. He had a little, you know what I'm saying, a little performance at the reunion for Hotties in the Valley season two. So my guy is known around here, okay? He's known on Giselle Sims channel. So he wanted to work with Flexo, of course, because he is in the music industry, y'all. So he's the producer. He makes beats, tracks, all that stuff, writes, that writes songs and stuff like that. And he's also a rapper. So you know he wanted to you know what i'm saying get flexo in the studio especially knowing that he is on hot boys he definitely want to collab with him do some skits with him work you know work with him and stuff like that so that's what happened Shit, i've been working with debonair jones and let me just say like that nigga is on point when it come down to his beats his music his lyrics all that shit. and honestly like he's very inspiring to me because i'm an upcoming artist and i feel like i got what it takes so I'm gonna continue to keep going and moving forward with this music industry, especially with the bad bitches in here as well. Like they keeping me motivated, keeping me going, and I'm fucking with the vibe for real. In the beginning part, we are currently chilling in the studio right now. My guy is taking some drinks with the the crew right now. Okay, the crew is here. Y'all see Debonair getting lit, and I was also thinking I'm like maybe I might put Debonair in Hot Boys for a replacement y'all i'm thinking about it we're gonna see but he gonna kick it with him of course right now and they're probably gonna hit the strip club later and skits like that some of the girls are here from the strip club as y'all know my girl blue right here she's from the script club then we got deja here of course deja makes music with debonair as well she is on the hottie song also and then we got miss um adrian so adrian also is in the music industry as well she does um she sung that song with Lee Renee. And yeah, so it's lit. It's lit. We having a good little time. We got the um our girl, I forgot her name. Hadia, I think that's her name. She makes, you know, the songs too. She works with Ebonair as well. So yeah, it's kinda a little lit shindig going on. It's, it's like that, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too much going on, nothing too crazy. But they getting lit, they turning up and shit. So yeah, that's what we finna do right now. We just about to kinda like vibe out mob out i wonder if debonair is a dealer because we definitely need to try to get some so so. from somebody man one thing i think i'm gonna do is smoke okay you hear me because listen when i smoke i'm definitely motivated then i'm inspired my brain just be focused and i could just flow with music and shit like that so yeah i'm finna see what debonair on if he got some some good good you know saying that za uh, and yeah i'm finna blow for real let me see Y'all gotta update my game, okay? Um, assign PC, drug dealer, assign a drug dealer. I feel like Debonair could be one. Because why not? And Hadia also, if I can find her on here on the list. But for right now, we're just gonna use Debonair. Let me see. Cause we need to get some weed anyway. Inquire about selling weed. No, I definitely wanna just buy some. So let's buy some cannabis from Debonair. But yeah, they just turning up, having a little good little time, getting lit and shit. Um, for real, for nothing too much, nothing too crazy going on. Now he looking at Blue. He better not be looking at Blue. That's a uh, Hadia girl. That's Hadia girl whole time. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to update my game because it's kind of like slow, y'all. And it's like last minute exceptions, last exceptions going on and stuff like that too. 
But yeah, they just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Getting tired, getting lit. Are we gonna ask him or what? Like, come on, Devonair. Doing too much. Doing entirely too much. Let me compliment Adrian's appearance, too. I guess we're not gonna ask him because he's gonna play. Just come over here and say something to her, y'all. Like, shit, piss me off. Don't piss me off now because you're doing too much. Like, yo, I'm trying to get some weed off you, my boy. I'm really trying to get some weed, my boy. But compliment her parents. Hey, not y'all dapping up. Would you like to take part in a mating bridal involving at least you and me? Who's asking this question? Show your fucking face. Debonair. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bruh. Don't even fucking play. But yo, let me get some weed, bruh. We'll pick up line with her. Nah, nigga. He's like, nah, nigga. What the fuck you want? What type of shit you want? You want that weird shit? Man, this nigga on some weird shit. I don't even play like that. I don't go like that. Like, nigga, I would beat your ass, like, for real, on a serious note. You know what I'm saying? Let's continue to get to the money, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, all I asked you was for some za. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, don't ever play with me. Don't ever test my gangster. Don't ever play with me like that in any kind of fucking way. Because I don't even go like that, Slim. No, we're not doing that. Um, buy some cannabis. Like, why are we playing these fucking games? Y'all about to piss me off in here. And I got the door locked, so I'm probably gonna have to unlock it. She got a little attitude. Oh, she's like, oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Period. Period. I know that's right. Come on, this music can go so loud. Boom, boom. Okay, he kind of like talking to um Adrian a little bit. You know what I'm saying? What's happening over here? Hello? Be yoda by Deja. Deja, what are you? Okay, girl, don't even do too much. Don't do too much because I will. Flexo oh, don't play. He was smack the fuck out of you. Like, stop playing with me. Uh -huh. Buy some cannabis from him. <laughs> like, damn, you playing and shit. We need to get some weed. So we can go back to the crib and shit. I think they're going to probably pop out at a club at the club tonight. Because that's what we just do. We just be popping out and shit. Um, I'm going to have him go ahead and get some sour diesel. We're going to get three bags. Mm, matter of fact, let's just get like nine bags. Because everybody going to be needed some and shit. Of course. So, yeah. She the piss needs a little bit. Goodness. Show me the money oh. and I'll show you the drugs. All right, period. Um, say less, but yeah, let me see. You tore the like, What's good with Adrian? <laughs> what's good with Adrian? Like, let me see. You want something? What you on? Flirt? Let me see. Check her out. Let me know if you attracted to her. Is this what you like? Man, Adrian, you know what I'm saying? She fine as fuck. Like, I feel like. You know, we probably will connect, you know what I'm saying? She make music, but she do music, I do music, you know what I'm saying? A real nigga like me can treat her good. You know, I'm gonna try to fill out the vibe and see where it's gonna head though, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully she fuck up with a nigga, if not, you know what I'm saying? There's other bitches to go around, so it is what it is. You think she look good? Like, what's tea? What's tea? Ah. Are you feeling her? Are you farking with her? You checking her out? You trying to fill her out a little bit? You like what you see, my boy? You fucking with it? I think he is. I think he is. I think he kind of fucking with it. Let me see. Oh, he thinks she very attractive. Okay, well, shoot your, shoot your shot then. Um... He ain't gonna do too much. He gonna try to take it a little slow. You know what I'm saying? Exchange numbers. See if you can get her number or whatever. See if you can get the number. See if you can take her out sometime. You know what I'm saying? She in the industry as well. Maybe y'all can make music together and stuff. Who knows? Like, who who knows? It can be something going on. Something definitely can pop off. So, you know, I see that me and Adrian might have some type of potential. Noena, she's an artist. I'm an artist as well. We both upcoming artists who make music about our bag at the end of the day i feel like we can vibe on a different level even if it's just you know what i'm saying just breaking bread together and making music together i'm so here for it so i'm gonna see what she's talking about or whatever sam flexo just thought what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at deja oh he's staring at deja okay so instead instead he he over here Looking at Deja, so let me just have him compliment her appearance. Let her know she look good or whatever. 
I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a picky nigga, but at the end of the day, I like what I like, I see what I see, and I'm feeling like Deja is a little freak, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can crack that right now and if I really wanted to, so at the moment how I'm feeling, yeah, I'm willing to get to know Adrian, but at the same time, I'm trying to crack something right now, and so I'm on Deja right now, and I feel like Shorty gonna be on go, so what's up? Okay, he feeling Deja. But it's Deja feeling him. <laughs> he's like, man, you look good, ma. Uh-uh, see, she's mean, and we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Flirt with her. Damn. Deja, you better get it together, girl. He's like, yo, what you on? What you on? I'm trying to, like, get to know you, trying to take you out and stuff <laughs> like that. And she's like, oh, okay. I mean, I'm feeling it. I'm fucking with it, too. Like, you cute. He's like, can I get your number, though? Like, you gonna let me text you sometime? Take you out sometimes? You know, I'm trying to show you a good time. Show you what a roast to go do. And she's like, hmm. Let me think about it. She's like, okay. Yeah, you can get my number. Awesome. Okay, period. Uh, period, y'all. He fucking with her. She fucking with him. I love to see it. He's like, so what you want, though? Like, but you should let a real nigga, you know, show you what Tim it is. Boy. Like, you look good as fuck. Hey, She's like, I know I look good. But he's like, yeah, Barner's I'm trying to like, tour. you know what I'm saying? Do uh, some things, awesome. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Chill with you, smoke a little bit, you drink. Bit. She's like, yeah, I be drinking sometimes. Sometimes I smoke too, but you know, I got to keep my lungs good for me. We do all my singing and stuff. He's like, oh, word. He's like, well, maybe we can do a song together or something one day. She's like, yeah, I'm down. I'm down to do that. The crazy part is this whole time, I ain't know Deja was the girl from Hotties that was singing with Ebeneer, so she make music too, so it's a win-win situation for me. Just hit me Please, up. Very... He's like, oh, yeah, she's like, yeah, of course. Okay, well, let me take you out then. Let me unlock this door. So let me take you out then. Let me show you a good time. Let me show you, you know what I'm saying, how you should be treated and shit, you know. Let's check her out, you know what I'm saying? Even though he already fucking with her, he already feeling her and stuff like that. He definitely is definitely down to, you know what I'm saying? Get to know her on a better level. Okay. He got a discovery. I didn't even read it your whole time, but, you know, flex on his shit right now. Like, he trying to, he trying to get to know Deja and, you know, um, on a better level, you know, on a better level. So Flexo has uh, Flexo has discovered a new personality trait, love bug. Learn more about this new trait. Okay, so he feeling the love bug. He's like, all right, love bug. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Okay. I love these new in, um, interactions that they have. I'm really vibing with it or whatever. Yeah, we're going to see what happens between these two. But he he, he rocking with her right now, as of right now. She on his roster, of course. She on the roster. She's definitely on the roster. And, ooh, this joint is lit up, y'all. Hold on. Satisfied. So it says, Flexo is satisfied in his romance with Deja. Improve this, though. I mean, improve this through romantic interactions that cater to each Sim's romance style. Turn ons and avoid their romance style. Turn offs. Also, be mindful not to be mean or violate any romantic boundaries. Okay, so he thinks she's very attractive, and that compatibility is amazing. So he's really feeling her, like he's digging the out of her. So you know, we're gonna see what happens. Like, we're gonna see what happens. Honestly, you know, Flexo is that nigga, so he gonna do whatever it takes by means to give his, you know, what I'm saying his ut off. They just feeling a romantic connection from Flexo and wants to suggest a date. Do you want this to happen? We're not gonna do it right now, but we definitely gonna take her out on a date. She already down for the get down, so yeah, they finna go mob off and do something real quick, real, real quick, real crazy, y'all. One thing about me, a nigga ain't gotta do too much talking. I'ma get what the fuck I want when I want it. And Deja, she fine as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling her. You know what I'm saying? She a vibe. We connect together and honestly i feel like she was on one too like she was just ready to jump out there and get it popping too like i'm fucking with that i'm fucking with that i knew i had a better chance for her though y'all already know how that go all right y'all so my nigga flexo just cracked that joint you know what i'm saying and he feeling real nice he feeling real confident about it like he fucking with her 
And yeah, they just did their little one two. So my nigga about to go out. I don't know where he's going, but he better go somewhere and go talk to somebody, I guess. And Deja finna leave. So yeah. But for the most part, my man's is satisfied and all that stuff. Who was Aziz, Nadir, and Valentina Nadir? Oh, that's they they together. They together, so it's fine. Nigga, we go together. Tell them hoes we go together. Who is he gonna go talk to? Oh. Oh, oh. oh y'all cute. Crimbo. I think he's better go talk to Sonya or somebody. But um, yeah, we should have went to the club tonight. He probably popped out or whatever. He better get him a little drink, I guess, or whatever. But yeah, after that little fun fun they just had, we probably are about to go to the strip club. You know what I'm saying? Throw some money or whatever. Go check out some clothes. Have a good little time. Turn up. So he gonna, you know what I'm saying, hit up the rest of the uh, hot boys and stuff. Let them know, like, pull up to the script club, you know what I'm saying, where we normally go to Onyx yeah. and let's turn up, have a good little time and stuff like that and just get lit. So a nigga just got done with his session, you know what I'm saying, just got done cracking shorty. I came over here to the bar, you know what I'm saying, give me a little drink real quick. I was like, let me go ahead and hit up the hot boys, you know what I'm saying, see where everybody doing something, get ready. Look, we'll pop out tonight, go to Onyx, have a good time. You know, we do best, you know, get lit, turn up, show our faces and shit like that. So, yeah, that's going to be a nice little lit night for real, for real. Like, a nigga done working. I didn't crack some. I'm ready to party now. Like, I'm up. What you ordering? Let me see what you get in the drink. What you order? Or hurry up and pour that drink. Oh, what you get? A gin tonic? Boy, you got a drink. Not you getting chips, too. You hungry? My man's hungry. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and go to the script club. I'm gonna see y'all when we get over there. All right, y'all. So we made it here to the club. We finna pop out, pop some bottles, have a good time. Um. Okay. So let's go ahead and actually order. Um. Let's just go here together. Are you not the bartender tonight? Are you bartending or not? Is Tokyo coming in? Y'all know Tokyo is the bartender normally at the club, so we're just going to see what happens. I'm going to cheat up his knees because my man's is kind of tired. He did, you know what I'm saying, lay down some tracks and stuff like that. And, of course, he's going to probably do, like, a music video and things like that. Of course, we're going to get some of the baddest of them all to be in the video and shit like that, too. So it's going to be late. It's going to be, like, a little time or whatever. Not nah, like, on the real, I'm looking for two bad bitches to be in my music video. If you got what it takes, you know what I'm saying? Hit your nigga up or just hit up just Dale because she always don't go for me. Like, she gonna make sure I get the baddest of them all to be in my my video. So, like, if you want to have a, a baddie or a hottie up in my video, you know what I'm saying? Showcase okay, it in there. Make sure you got to hit Giselle up so she can go ahead and make sure, like, everything put together. Go ahead and tip the dancers. Let's start throwing some money. You know what I'm saying? Let's start throwing some money. So here we are at the motherfucking script club once again tonight and honestly I really didn't want to be hit up for rope like I really didn't want to come but here we are we here and you know uh Flexa was like y'all come out y'all pop out y'all get dressed whatever so I'm just like oh my god like I'm tired for real I, I'm still trying to recover from that hangover but I was lit as fuck last night so <sighs> I really didn't want to be out for real for real but you know, money is money, and business is business, and I gotta get to that bag by all means, so the girl had to pop out, and that's on period. Oh, Let's go ahead and tip. Tip the dancers. Ah, oh, there go Hassan, and he was on all that shit on Kobe line, y'all, so Kobe probably finna say something like, oh, the, you the nigga that, uh, <laughs> is you the nigga that was saying shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One thing about me, a nigga ain't gonna be doing too much talking. First of all, I'm a grown ass man. At the end of the day, I don't wanna just keep talking and going back and forth with another grown nigga. You know what I'm saying? So when I see the nigga, I'm like, oh, this the nigga that was on my phone playing games and shit like that, pop that his shit. Nigga, what's up? Like, you gonna save all that energy for now when I see you, like, you gonna pop out too? Like, I'm trying to figure this shit out right now. Like, looks really good. He finna, he finna say some shit to Hassan, y'all, cause, bruh, that shit kinda pissed me off, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just gonna say, oh, wait a minute. Who is it? Who is a flexo? Cuban. Not you looking at Cuban. That's Noah's sister, bro. 
<clears throat> one thing for sure and two things for certain. I ain't no faithful digger, but I'm sure y'all already know that by now. I don't keep one bitch. I gotta have multiple. You know what I'm saying? And Cupid was looking real good tonight. I ain't gonna lie. It might be the liquor, but she was looking real good. Say something to Hassan. Where's he at? Say something to Hassan. You already know you want to. You already know that you want to, so you might as well just say something. Where's Flexo? Because he's checking out Cuban. Are you talking to her? Oh, Cuban's a dancer. Cuban is a dancer. Let me see. Um, I'm going to have him check her out. And then let's go ahead and... Not you scaring her. What the fuck? Ask her if she's single and stuff. Uh, do a little pickup line. Compliment her appearance or whatever. Let her know she's looking good. That man smooth with it, okay? That man is smooth with it. He gonna do whatever it takes to get any beach that he want, okay? And that's what he gonna do. Go ahead and say something to her, okay? She feeling him. Exchange numbers with her. Oh, look at my mans. They go Leroy, y'all. Leroy up in here. Period. Y'all tipping the dancers. Did you say something to him? Cause, bruh. Hassan, don't piss me off. You was on all that shit on the phone. Now you want to be quiet. You don't want to say nothing. Man, I already knew the young nigga was the one to do shit. was not want to say shit for real. I already checked his ass. He didn't say nothing for real, for real. Just these little young nigga playing on a, a grown man phone. That's what it is. Like, get your money up, little nigga. Like, not you come in drunk, girl. What the fuck? Not you come in drunk. Let's get some drinks. Let's go ahead and um order drinks for the group. And we finna get lit. So I need to still change this damn thing up. But it's okay. We're gonna get some Hennessy. We're gonna get some Henny. What is y'all doing? Oh, y'all really hitting it off real easily, real quick. Okay, can we, um... Can we ask for a private dance? Get a private dance from her. Get a private dance. That's what you can at least do. Shit. <laughs> Y'all over here, y'all good? Y'all straight? Yeah, cause Kobe ain't playing with you. Who you got beef with now? Who you got beef with now? It's a lot going on. It's like they say something to Kobe right below what you want a side to say to Kobe. What? What is this? Man, let's. You gonna say, man, let's get to the bag. Let's get to the money. <laughs> He goes, let's get to the money. Man, let's get to the money. Now he's saying, oh, wow, is that a new thing? Where we can say things to people? Oh, he was saying something mean. At the end of the day, we here for a few things and a few things only. That's to get our names out there to break bread with each other, make bread together, make money in general, and just get our name out there, like I said. And you got Kobe over here basically worried about a young nigga. So worn by that young nigga. Let's let's get to the bag. Let's get to this money, my nigga. That's what we came here to do. You ain't your feelings about what a nigga said on your phone, playing to your phone, nah, nigga. Tell the nigga getting the feel at the end of the day. But like I said, let's just get to the money, bruh. Kobe, like, man, why you trying to tell me to get to the bag, nigga? You get to the bag, like, fuck. I, I'm I got my own bag. Man, aside, not right now, bruh. Don't piss me off for real, like. Just give me some time, bro. I'm already in my feelings about this nigga Hassan playing on my phone. Like, you a young nigga for real. Like, you still in school, my nigga. Like, I make bread. I make money. You know what I'm saying? That ain't even the problem. That's not the issue. It's just the fact that young niggas want to play around. Like, grow the fuck up. Stack your bread up, nigga. That's what I'm tripping about. Aside, don't come at me talking about some make some money. Let's make money and shit. Nah, nigga. I make money. Right now, it's time for me to just get in the field with this nigga. And I trust me, I get to it. Not you trying to start shit. That's the crazy part about it. That's the crazy part. Do a friendly introduction. Let's say something to him. Did you get you a dance? Where he at? He right here. He didn't even get a dance. He didn't even get him a private dance yet. Saucy, where you at? Saucy got an attitude. Saucy, you always thinking. But you talking about your body is tea. Need to escape from fair of crowded places. Are the walls closing in? It's getting a bit harder to breathe. Was open air always that far away? No time for 
pleasantries or jokes. Saucy is ready to leave now. He like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go. Man, a bitch been ready to go since I got here. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, the guy is gonna sit here and be talking and drinking and stuff like that. Like, I'm still trying to fucking recover from the night that we was already out. Like, can a bitch breathe? Damn. I'm ready to get the fuck about this club because all these bitches in here stink. And they not, they not me. They can never. Did you say something to Leroy? Say, say, say something to Leroy. Um, just be friendly. Be friendly. Just say what's up. Um, friendly introduction. Yeah, it's definitely time to fucking go. Like, niggas in here smelling like weed and fucking wet cigarettes. Like... I'm so ready to go home. God making me sick. God making a bitch nauseous right now. Like, I cannot even feel my own stomach right now, my bitch. It's time to go. We gotta try to get their names out there a little bit more and stuff like that, too, because they about to be famous. Like, they finna be famous. Who can you, be, who can you talk to, Asai? Because you just be chilling. Asai really be chilling for real, for real. He don't be doing too much. She don't say too much. She don't do too much. She just be chilling and stuff like that. So, not instantly unattractive. Saucy is unattractive to Leroy at the first sight. Now he said Leroy is unattractive. Baby, when I tell y'all that that man smell like weed and wet cigarettes, that man smell like weed and wet cigarettes, and I was not for it. And then on top of that, your hair is nappy, boy. You need to go get your hair down. I don't know what the fuck he got going on in his hair. I'm not that type of bitch that wants to deal with a man like that. Like, give me a man that has a nice foot or wavy hair, like, something nice. Like, you gotta come clean and correct to talk to me. Like, I don't like them dirty niggas, and that's giving dirty. Like, he was giving real dirty. Like, you can go ahead over there and talk to Noah, because I'm pretty sure Noah won't go ahead and go for it. But not me, baby. I'm too, I'm too bougie. I'm too pretty. I'm too bad to be talking to a dirt nigga like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's time to go. Rum and Milo will check real quick so I can get out the door. He like, uh-uh, that nigga ugly. <laughs> that nigga ugly. His dress need to be done and everything looking like that. Like, boy, you look a mess. What you thought you ate? You thought you ate down? Because you didn't. <laughs> I'm screaming. Y'all need to get with the program and turn up. This club normally be packed. It ain't really packed tonight. It's not really packed tonight. It's a little something slight. Nothing too crazy. It's something slight. Where's Juju? Juju, you good? Why are you in the trash? Who is anybody getting a private dance? Makai? Y'all all just chilling right now. They just came in here to get a drink for real. Like They just want to... Just have a good little time. Can you get a private dance from Dre or somebody? At least somebody? Like, damn. That's for a private dance. Noah's probably like, I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm not feeling it at all. I'm ready to go. Y'all niggas is whack up in here. We always at this damn club. Like, can we get another club? Can we go turn up somewhere else sometimes? Like, we always want to be here. I mean, how I take it is, it's one thing to have a club that you go to all the time, to being a upcoming celebrity, where you need to get your face out there a little bit more, and I just be at one spot, so you have a notav notable face, and it, okay, I know what drink you want, whatever. I just feel like we need to be somewhere else sometimes. Like, come in the Onyx all the time, watching bitches shake their ass. I don't want to do that all the time. I want to go to a, you know what I'm saying, a pride lounge, pride club, drag club, something like that. And you and maybe just have regular chill one. Like, I don't want to just keep coming to Onyx to the same bitch where we always watching bitches shake their ass. Like, can we go somewhere that's more fun? Like, I'm ready to go for real for I'm over it. The strippers ain't even dancing for real. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. At this point, we finna go at 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh-uh, let me save y'all. But we gonna actually go ahead and go back to the crib because literally it's 6 in the morning. Ain't shit really happening right now. So I'm gonna see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all. So we are back in the house. We just got to the house. And I was checking for something. And I thought I, I, thought I was tripping. But why the fuck does... Noah have a little tiny love interest with her, with his um sister's husband, Christopher. Why is this? Why is this here? I'm so confused to what's going on, but 
you know, it's, it's a lot going on, child. Uh, I'm just not going to get into it. Not y'all came in here to party when y'all should be like, y'all just doing the most. Just chill. <laughs> just chill right now. Like, y'all doing too much. Um. Okay, so I'll see you to go use the bathroom. Noah probably like, you better flash that toilet too and wipe that stinky sussy too, bitch. So we get back to the hot boy's house, and of course everybody's still listening to music, still kind of drinking, turning up a little bit, they already turn. And here goes Saucy with his stanky big booty ass. Talk about something. All he got to go to the bathroom, bitch. Make sure you wipe that stanky sissy, okay? Wipe that stanky booty, too, because, bitch, you need to. You need to dish up in that booty hole for row, because that shit is stanking. But, yeah. I'm just over it. I'm ready to go to sleep, get in my bag, get in my blanket, and just cuddle up. <laughs> Noah and Saucy do not like each other whatsoever, y'all. Like, they don't fuck with each other whatsoever. Oh, my God. I cannot stand that trifling from the bitch and that look like, bitch, shut your fucking mouth. You always got to be popping out your mouth and tucking shit. Run me a fade. Just shut up and fight. At all. It's so much food being cooked in here. Is this good? Let me see. Go ahead and grab you a servant of that. We're going to put that in the sink. It's food in here. We're going to clean this shit up. Like, not y'all. They stay cooking food and don't freaking finish it or they just let it go to waste. Like, y'all niggas in here is tripping. Y'all need to get it together. Who phone is on the floor? No one like, oop, and I just caught me a phone. Who phone is this? It's not. Why are you crying? Child. I don't know who phone it is. It's probably somebody phone from the freaking party. Everybody got looming anxiety and stuff like that. Like, what's going on? He would be happy to have a child. It's crazy. How about you go take a shower? That's what you can go do. Go upstairs and take you a shower. And he probably gonna call his little yeah yeah over one of his little yeah yeahs. Who he got? Cause he got Tierra. Um, I think it was just Tierra. So we probably gonna call Tierra over. And, you know, just kick it with her today. It's winter time. It's cold outside. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a little cuddle buddy and shit. So, he probably gonna call her up and just, you know what I'm saying? Tell her come slide. Yeah, I'm still fucking with Shorty. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, she not in a real committed relationship. She not married to this nigga yet. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm finna call her up and tell her come slide on the nigga again. Because, you know what I'm saying? She fuck on me. I'm fuck with her. And she won't come every time. Literally. You know, we're gonna see what's happening. Um, Kobe was fucking with Don. And he was fucking with Tokyo too. So, like, I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know. But we're gonna just text both of them to see which one. Which one. Um, he gonna send a little flirty selfie or whatever. Okay. Hold on. Because the selfie is selfie and selfie. -ing. I don't like the fact that he's posing like that. Not the pucker lips, child. It's the pucker lips for me. Everybody love Kobe smile, so I should do one with him smiling. I should do one with him smiling for real, for real. Let me see. Hold on. Give me a good one. That's not. That's not a good one. You can do this one. Like, what's up, little mama? Like, you gonna come over and slide, slide on the homie? You know what I'm saying? Chilling. Ain't doing too much, but I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. And then we're going to send Tokyo one, too. We're going to send her one. Do a flirty selfie as well. You know, I don't be doing too much for real, for real. But I do got like a little, little team on my roster. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with these girls. I'm just, you know, having fun right now. Just trying to see where it's going to go. But, you all know, the reality life, the reality world, shakes start growing and shit. It's going to be some other, you know, banging bitches that's going to come up my way. So... I ain't trying to be like stuck on one right now. You feel me? Send her one. It's like I'm thinking about you. <laughs> I'm thinking about you. That nigga smooth. Okay. We just gonna see which one gonna fall into his lap. Okay. His lap. Gotta hit. Gotta hit that pop. Okay. That pop. Uh, saucy, please. Uh, uh. Patting that poom poom. You patting that nasty poom poom. Noah is kind of like feeling Miguel. Y'all, let me fill y'all in because Miguel is, he goes both ways, okay? Now she ran. She ran across that street with no shoes on, girl. It's snowing. 
It's snowing. Did something just break? Let me see. Let me um flirt. Do a pickup line. Let's see what happens. Cause I'm kind of curious to see. I'm kind of curious to see like where this go because Miguel do go both ways. But it was a lot happening. Oh y'all, are y'all hitting it off? Y'all good? So, Miguel is some fine shit, okay? Let me just hit it. And then, that man is some fine shit. And honestly, I don't know if everybody in the house know, but me personally, I know for a fact that Miguel goes both ways. Miguel is not just strictly pussy. Like, he's not just straight. So, me and him been hitting it off. We've been talking a little bit. And I'm kind of like bucking with him. I'm fucking with his five. And I really want to get to know him a little bit better. I feel like being in the house, though, it can get real messy. People can get in your air. You're going to have drama. You're going to fight and stuff like that. And honestly, I don't want to fight with Miguel. I want to get to know you. We can fight in bed, though. But, yeah, I'm going to see where this going to go. Oh, Miguel, like, ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm cool with it. Miguel's don't he don't really know what he want right now and who he want. He don't got no love interest with nobody, so he just be cooling for the most Stevie, part. But I mean, whatever oh, happens, yeah. happens. So I knew that this was gonna eventually air out. It was gonna come out out in the open to the world, and I felt like I wanted to tell my own truth. I wanted to tell my own story on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I do fuck with both men and women. I, I don't have a preference right now. You know what I'm saying? until that one person come into my life and literally sits me the fuck down and be like this is what i need to do this is what we want to do you gotta be willing to be open with me and accept who i am to even get that far in our in a relationship with me honestly like i've been in the relationship for two years for real for real and i'm just having fun so you know know what cool as shit you know what i'm saying but honestly i don't know i don't know how i feel about that but you know we will see what happens in the future or whatever, but I like women more than niggas. Let's just say that. Flip's way. Wait, Flexo has a love interest with Leslie too? I forgot. At this point, Flexo got a love interest with a lot of bitches. Okay. Even Cuban. He really trying to talk to Cuban whole time. So let me actually invite Cuban over. A nigga don't owe loyalty to no bitch, no nigga. You know what I'm saying? I do me. I do what I want. And honestly, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying life. I don't, I'm not ready to be tied down for real. For, I'm more so focused on my music. Like, my music is my baby right now. My music is my relationship. These hoes ain't loyal to me. These hoes don't give a fuck about love for real or how a real nigga gonna treat you. They care about the money, the fame, because you out here making it. That's what they want. And honestly, I ain't got time for that. So yeah, I just fuck bitches and I get money. That's it. Invite Cuban over so you can kind of like chill with her in the side. I don't know what you got for me, my boy. I don't even know why him and Kobe had beef. I don't know why him and Kobe had beef. What's tea with that? What's going on? I don't even know. But we're going to get into that drama too later. Honestly, from my perspective, I don't feel like there's no beef. But you know what I'm saying? Kobe is his, he's his own man. So like, if you feel like it's beef, my nigga, then it's beef. You know what I'm saying? I just told you then, let's, let's get back to this money. Like, you focusing on a nigga that ain't making no bread like you making no bread or you focusing on a nigga that ain't got an opportunity like you my nigga like get yourself back together stop worrying about that young nigga and just get get to the money like that's what i'm saying like young niggas don't understand niggas don't get it niggas don't want to see you wearing whatever i'm just trying to help out another black man and he ain't fucking with it i guess you know what i'm saying it is what it is, nigga, if you feel some type of way, say that shit with your fucking chest. Because I'm going to handle business every fucking time. We're going to get into that drama later, because, child, I don't know, these niggas be chilling for the most part, complaining about love life. You ain't even got a love life. You ain't even got a love life. Not you feeling real flirty because you was talking to Miguel. Who's this? Oh, that's Cuban. You probably like, why my sister here? Why she here? Why is Cuban here? 
So as I know my sister, Cuban, she work at Onyx Strip Club, okay? And I barely talked to the bitch. We barely talked. I haven't talked to my sister since the last time my sister Brianna was filming her little family series. So for Cuban to show up at the house, it's like, okay, why the fuck you here, bitch? Because I don't even fuck with the family right now. I'm not even fucking with y'all. Why are you here? You better not be trying to talk to these niggas in here. And I'm not playing because I'm standing 10 toes behind that. I'm going to fight because the fuck? What your thought this was? I don't know what the fuck she here, but she trying to be a fast ass bitch. Go sit the fuck down. You already being a fast ass bitch because you work at the club already. We see you all the time. Bitch, go home. Go ahead and um ask about your sister Day or whatever. Talk to her. I don't think I gave her this outfit. And if I did, I don't remember putting on these shoes that don't even match the fit. But go off. Who is he talking to right now? Oh. Not you standing by Saucy and this the bitch you don't like. Saucy probably like, bitch, move around. Move around, bitch. Ah, <laughs> move around. Yeah, this season, I'm definitely clocking everybody so I can see this season. Okay, I'm clocking it. Even the ones that don't even live in the house, okay? I'm clocking Noah's sister Cuban's tea. Because, bitch, why are you here right now? Why are you here? Uh-oh, you got you talking to somebody in this house. Okay, I'm about to clock it. I know everybody's secrets and everybody's tea. Uh huh. You cannot hide shit from me. Hmm. <laughs> Period. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna clock it. Ask Noah what his problem is. Why you buy me? You so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. Okay. Makai over here talking and flirting with Tear outside. She's like, boy, now I'm not open. Like, come on, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Girl, little do you know. This man don't really give a fuck. He just trying to crack on something. Honestly, he don't even give a fuck about you. You over there cheating on your man. Uh oh, wait, 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 wait. What happened? Hey, this drama isn't my fault. At least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between us. Ooh, is something going on? Are y'all fighting? Oh, I thought something. Okay, okay, Cuban. Cuban, you on? Oh, she on flexo, y'all. She on Flexo. Wait, did y'all already have a love interest? I'm confused. These niggas ain't loyal. At the end of the day, niggas ain't loyal. They ain't shit. <laughs> they ain't shit. They ain't loyal. They nothing. Okay? But he, oh, he did have a love interest with her. So he was already fucking with her from the beginning. Come on. So I found the source. So Cuban over here fucking with Flexo. Bitch, you talking to Flexo? Out of all the niggas in this house, Flexo ain't no good. Flexo is not a loyal nigga. Flexo do not hang one to just one bitch. Some of your feelings get hurt, bitch. That's on you. I ain't gonna say nothing right now. But I'ma clock it. I'ma clock her tea and I'ma clock his tea and I'ma let Flexo know by himself. But right now is at the time of the place. I'ma let him have a little big one right now. Let him have it. But guess what? When I get you alone, Flexo, it's me and you right now, bruh. We're gonna be talking for real. He was fucking with her from the beginning. Okay. Well, go off then. Go off then. Uh, Juju, come talk to Leslie because you really wanted to talk to her. Um, Let me see. Let's be friendly, though. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like discuss interest. Who's calling Miguel? Hey. Uh, oh, I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. What lounge is this? Not Don trying to go out with Miguel. You know what? I think we're gonna go ahead and head over there because it's like nothing really popping off over here and I'm just trying to make a storyline. So we're gonna actually go out with Don and see what's you know what's going on with that. So I'm gonna see y'all when we get over there. Okay. So, oh he's seeing eating or whatever. Okay, let me um actually go ahead and interest no affection, no, not give gifts, small talk. Let's get to know Don. So Don invited me out and I'm just like, you know, shocked because I'm like, damn, I ain't really know Don was like fuck with me like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? She cool as fuck for road, you know. So I came out with her. We seen Eden, a couple of more like celebrities and stuff like that. Of course, me and Don, we celebrities too. Like, you know what I'm saying? We got our faces out there too. Like, it ain't even nothing big, nothing serious to be honest. Like me and celebrities, you know. But I'm going to see where she at, you know, where her head is at and stuff like that. See what's going on. What's, what's pop up with her. Um, Don is beautiful. I am fucking with her. And she just seemed like she cool down to earth. And I like her vibes. This little spot. 
a little, I don't know what the hell this is, y'all, but yeah, we in here chilling for the most part, just vibing right Sick of foods. I need to start adding some more stuff, doing some family. more bills. Why she got an attitude? What's going on with you? What's tea? Yes, miss. You invited us over here. You invited us over here, so let me see what's going on with her. Snubara. Uh, affection? No. Thoughts? Um, discuss healthy relationships, I guess. He just trying to like, kind of getting to know Don. Likes her a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know what's her problem right now. Why she got an attitude? What is this place? This supposed to be a club because this ain't popping the way it should. I might re. Uh, uh, might do something with it. Where we at? Summering. But yeah, he's talking to her. He's just like, you good? Like, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? What's been going on with you? Um. Okay, we learned that she's loyal. Okay, let me just have him flirt a little bit. Compliment her parents or something. Tell her she's looking good and stuff like that. My man is already lit. Why are you trying to go get you another drink? He got a hangover from being at that club. I feel like all the girls is taller than the guys, and I don't know why. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out later. Um, let's just flirt with her and stuff. Because, I mean, I feel like she was kind of feeling him already in, at a point in time. So, okay. Okay. My man's don't need no drink. I mean, just say that. He don't need a drink. He's like, I never got your number the last time that we, you know what I'm saying, sent each other to the party, so can I get your number, you know what I'm saying, even though you kind of called me on a, a unknown number. She's like, oh, my bad, that's my fault. I really don't give out my number because a lot of crazies, you know, since I've been on, you know, reality TV now, you know what I'm saying, niggas be acting real crazy, even the bitches, and she's like, yeah, I get that. I can definitely understand that. And she's like, so what's tea with you, like, what you into and stuff like that? You straight? And she's like, yeah, I'm good. I just, it's just so much drama. He's like, man, let me cheer you up. Let me make your day a little bit better. And she's like, oh, okay, you applying pressure right now. He's like, always, baby. Always, baby. I'm going to always apply that pressure, especially when I want something. I'm going to go get it. And she's like, oh, okay, Miguel. I see you spitting game and stuff. Like, he's like, nah, I'm just keeping it real. All facts over here. Like, I'm really feeling you. I'm digging you. You know what I'm saying? You a bad little joint. You got your shit together and everything. And she's like, I definitely do. I definitely do. He's like, so what's up? Like, I'm trying to, like, spend more time with you, get to know you a little bit better, and things like that. And she's like, I mean, I guess. We can see where it goes. And he's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Say less. Like, what's the word, though? Like, you looking for a relationship? You just looking for a friend? She's like, honestly, I'm looking for whatever comes my way. If I find the right guy, I'm definitely Rawr. going to stick beside him. Galipo. And yeah, we're just going to take it day by day at the end of the day. Like, that's it. What's oh. up? I want to see what the seductive dance <laughs> is. But yeah, Rose Miguel was feeling her for the most part. He's really feeling her. He's fucking uh, with her. Don cool, you know what I'm saying? She chill and stuff like that. So why not? <laughs> Are you dancing for her? Hey, hey, okay, Don Shimmy. Hey, I know that's right. Okay. Oh, oh. So me and Don, we just vibing out, having a good little time, and she's bringing out my personality. I'm bringing her personality out, and I just feel like it's a vibe. Like we have a good connection, and I'm just really fucking with her. I just hope like she can accept me for who I am once I do tell her like what it is and what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like don't go off of word of mouth or what other people are telling you, but go off of what I'm telling you. And honestly, I haven't had any sexual intercourse with, like, a man in a long time. Like, it's just more so, like, women. So, I don't know. We won't see that. We won't see where it's going to go. Okay, y'all cute. He said, let me turn this music on so we can get it cracking for real. She's like, you like my moves. Well, let's do the first kiss. Okay, Don. Fuck it. Uh, hey, hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm screaming. Hey. She's like, yeah, this is my little move. You know what I'm saying? Something slight. I don't really be dancing like that, but when I do, I definitely fuck it up. I'm screaming. <laughs> He's like, all right, I see you little mom with your little dance moves and stuff. Okay, you rocking them hips for real. That thing fat back there. And she's like, boy, stop. <laughs> you making me blush and stuff. 
He's like, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to put a smile on your face at all times. That nigga is smooth, y'all. He's fucking smooth. They having their first little kiss or whatever. I don't think Don knows that Miguel goes both ways. He probably won't even tell her because it's not that serious right now. But we didn't even ask her if she was single. We should have definitely asked her that because he better stamp this right now before anybody else try to get that. He better be like, man, I'm trying to be, you know what I'm saying, more than just friends. Like, honestly, I really fuck with you. You want to be more than friends? Okay, so y'all dating now? And she's like, all right, yeah. We definitely can um do some shit. Um, let me actually have them take a picture together because that would be super cute. Cute, you know what I'm saying? Take a photo with Don. So me and Don decided to make it official, honestly. I'm very excited to see where it's gonna go. And I hope that it goes somewhere far. Cause like I feel like we do have a good little connection together. We are whole vibe together. So I'ma see where it's gonna go. I don't really have good luck with women with relationships in general, so I'm hoping that this one's gonna last and I hope I can treat her good. And I just hope it's not just for the moment. Should I change your clothes? Actually, let me save y'all. Oh, damn, I can't save because I'm about to take a picture. But I feel like I want to change Don's outfit. Jeez. I've been wanting to talk to you. And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, period. They cute. This is a little cute little something, something. Should I do it like this or like this? We're gonna do this one. Let's take two of those and then they kinda they are actually cute together. They're actually cute together. I I'm fucking with this vibe right here. I'm fucking with the vibe. I like it. They kinda cute, but listen, don't Miguel, don't ruin this, okay? Because y'all are cute. Y'all are real cute together. Let me see how these pictures came out. He's tired. I need to cheat that up. Okay, this one's blurry. Damn, we're gonna have to take some more because we got some blurry ones. We got the one that has a gnome in there. Let me have them take another one because they're cute and I like this for them. They actually are adorable. And I can see them later down the line probably, you know what I'm saying, if it lasts, you know, they might have a little future together, you know, depending on the situation. Depending on if they want to work it out, then they definitely can. I wish I had some more poses, to be honest, but they are cute. Okay. He's like, yeah, you my little yeah, yeah, okay? Can't nobody have you. I don't want you talking to none of these niggas, you know what I'm saying? You all mine. And I'm going to apply that pressure every time. And she's like, okay, I see you. I see you. He's like, yeah, baby. You are all mine, and you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> she was like, okay. Okay, I hear you. Let's give her one of these pictures. She's like, I hear you, Miguel. You can just keep that same energy, okay? Keep that same energy, you know what I'm saying? I work a lot. I'm pretty sure you got a busy, you know, schedule and stuff, too. But, you know, we definitely locked in, okay? We definitely locked in. Not ask the woohoo in motel for $40. That is crazy. That's crazy. Huh? That is crazy. But yeah, he he rocking with her. He like her. So we're going to definitely, you know what I'm saying, make some shit shake. Okay. We're going to see where this goes. Okay. Mm, new romance dynamic, Steamy. It's awfully warm in here, and Miguel and Don can't seem to keep their hands off each other. Romantic partners with the steamy romance dynamic gravitate towards romantic socials with each other, especially physical intimacy. Would you describe the romance between Miguel and Don as being steamy? Of course. Of course. Of course. And he definitely is going to get on that. Like, this is his boo. Like, he really fucking with her. She fucking with him. And they just better get it cracking. Like, honestly, it's no more nothing else to say. It's nothing else to say because they are already like they already feeling each other. Like it's getting real steamy over here. Like it's getting real steamy. So I mean, whatever happens from this point happens. Yes. Whatever happens from this point is gonna happen. Let's go, Buster.
back that okay, fast stance. Okay, not propose. Oh, we ain't doing that yet because we don't know. We don't even know what's gonna happen between <laughs> them. <laughs> but you know, you feeling her? Frank, go ahead. Okay. You feel okay. <laughs> it's hot and steamy up in here. Ooh. Okay, Miguel. Oh. Period. Mm. You got your woman. He was gonna stamp that. Oh, no. He definitely was gonna stamp oh. that. He not playing. Oh, that man ain't playing. Wow. Okay, he want what he no, want. He's like, so what's up? You trying to go in the bathroom or something? You trying to go do something? Ooh. They crazy. <laughs> Honestly, when it comes down to Dawn, she can have the world from me. Like, I really like this girl. I fuck with her vibe, her energy, like I said. And honestly, we just gonna take it day by day, but we just kicking it for real. But she literally is everything that a man can want. And I feel like she is my person, for real. They finna go do something, probably. Did she leave? Okay, she probably rode out, so... We just gonna go back to the crib. He talking to Ian right now, because he do know eating a little bit or whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and save y'all. Y'all know the deal. Not take a photo with Sammy. Let's just act like we completed that. Let me save y'all. I'm gonna see y'all when we get back to the spot. All right, y'all. So we back at the spot, and my guy is feeling the love. Okay, feeling the love. Asad's over here working out. That I man getting his little work off, workout on and stuff like that. Asad, he just be chilling. That nigga be chilling for real. Not y'all still over here turning up. What's going on? How did y'all little day go today? Like, what y'all was up to? What y'all do? That's a whole mess going on in here, too. Where everybody else at? Look at Makai. He stay making his drinks, y'all. Y'all know that nigga gonna get lit. Look at all these fucking drinks. Uh, please. Who's calling? Uh, hey, Flexo. It's me, Deja. Do you want to go out on a date? Y'all. I don't know. He gonna say no thanks right now because I just feel like... I just feel like... Um, why is not going in? I just feel like um, Flexo's kind of like focusing on his music and stuff, of course. But at the same time, yeah, he going to dip and dab a little bit or whatever. Can you just come clean this shit up? He going to dip and dab, of course. But, you know, he not really focusing on like being in a relationship, probably going on dates and stuff like that. Like, he probably not focusing on that. I forgot Kobe has a whole job, y'all. Like, that nigga be working. He said, I'm making extra money. I'm not about to just be depending on hot boys for them to pay me. Shit, honestly, I feel like I needed a backup plan. Like, I had a job before I came on to Hot Boys, and I felt like I wanted to keep my job. And my manager cool as fuck, so, like, we had an agreement. I come into work when I can come into work, you know what I'm saying? But if this falls short for me being on Hot Boys, I always got something to go back to and make my bread. And nigga ain't never slipping. That's why when Asai said that shit, like, nigga... I'm making my, my money regardless. If I'm on the show, if I'm off the show, I'm still, I still got me a job. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never falling short. So I'm glad I'm my, my manager is cool because, like I said, if anything happened on Hot Boys, I still got me some income coming in. I don't know about the rest of these niggas, though. So. Let's throw the F-bomb at Saucy. Because I feel like... Noah just wants to be messy. Like, he don't like Saucy whatsoever. Like, he doesn't fuck with, her, with him at all, so. The fact of Saucy in my present definitely aggravates me. It makes my ass itch, okay? Bitch, like, I don't fuck with this nigga. I don't like him. I don't like her, whatever, whatever she go by. I don't like him. I don't like her. And I just feel like, bitch, you need to know. I don't give a fuck if you the host. I don't care. I can run the shit. I can run the show for real for I can run it, you know, but I'm just over it. Like, you just in my way. You just taking up space, bitch. You got to go. I just feel like not you clumsy. No, I don't want you to be clumsy. I just feel like he don't fuck with him. Like, he just don't don't fuck with him. And so I was just like, bitch, what's your problem? Like, why you always got smoke with me? You always got fucking smoke with me. You just always want to fight. This bitch Noah has some secret animosity with me that I don't even know what the fuck going on. Like, bitch, what's your problem? What's your tea? Why are you clocking my tea every fucking time? Or why are you always trying to clock my tea? Because, bitch, you can never. Like, I don't get it. 
she wants to be me for some reason. She wants to be the host. She wants to be who I am. And she just can't stand the fact that I'm here. And it gets on her nerves. Well, bitch, I'm gonna keep aggravating you every fucking time. Like, what's up? Well, we gonna fight. It's always gonna be on site every time I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna fight you every time because I just don't fuck with you. I don't like you, bitch. Ooh. Ooh, Saucy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, Saucy? This bitch threw a drink at me. Bitch, are you crazy? What the fuck is wrong with Noah? But I had... I haven't even said nothing to the bitch. I haven't said nothing to him. I haven't even looked his fucking way whatsoever. I've been minding my motherfucking business and getting my back like I'm supposed to do. And here come Noah, mad at the fucking world, bitch. Like, you mad for what? What you gonna do? Oh, Saucy mad, y'all. Move your bun. Saucy, what you gonna do? It's literally been up with Noah and Saucy every day for real since we've been in this house. Like, they don't fuck with each other whatsoever. Like, I don't get it. I don't even know what's going on, to be honest. Like, why y'all always gotta fight? Can't y'all just get the fuck along? Like, make it make sense. Y'all try to make this show about y'all all the time. Mm. No. Saucy probably like, oh, bitch, you wanna fight? You wanna fight me again, bitch? You want me to drop your ass again, bitch? Because I will. I will, bitch. You keep playing with me. And guess what, bitch? You better go home because I ain't got time to be keep fighting with you and stuff like that. Start drama. Ah. You, I'm going to give you what you want, bitch. She's like, I'm going to give you what you want, bitch. I'm going to give you that, that drama that you asking for because clearly you just want to fight all the time. So what's, what's tea? What's tea? Yeah, this bitch know I want to keep on fighting me, bitch. Guess what? You got another motherfucker thing coming, bitch. Like, you want to fight? Okay, I'm going to give you your little win fight, your swear fight, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to give you that because you want the attention. But little do you know, bitch. Little do you know, you're going the fuck home, ho. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of fighting with bitches. I, I'm so tired. Like, for real. I'm really tired of fighting with Noah. Every fucking day, it's a shit show with this bitch. Every day. And hey, I'm gonna start drama with you because you just wanna keep fighting me. You wanna do all that shit. So what's up? Not freaking Juju over there cheering. Yeah, fight. Beat that sass. No, but you better not. No, but you better not lose this time because I'm sick as how you getting your sass beat getting laid out on this floor and saucy be dogging your ass. And if you lose this fight, you're going to home. So production decided if I lose the fight with saucy bitches that I will have to go home. And bitch, I'm doing everything in my power to stay the fuck in this house. Like I'm dogging the fuck out of saucy space. Like man, I'm really punching the fuck out of her. Like bitch, I'm not going home. I'm not finna go out like that. You're not finna send me home. I don't wanna leave. I get it, yeah, I'm starting drama with Saucy a lot, but it's like bitch, there's nothing else to do in this house. Like y'all are so dry and lame. And I don't like Saucy. I don't fuck with Mitch. You're going home because Saucy's sick and tired of the shit. Man, Saucy and Noah fighting every day is very draining, very overwhelming. Honestly, if I say so myself, like, somebody got to go home at this point. Like, I get it, Saucy's the host. But you condoning this shit. You fighting back with Noah. So at this, at this moment, how I feel... Either one of y'all can get the fuck up out of this house so we can go ahead and get a replacement immediately because y'all doing a lot. Y'all doing a lot of fighting. Y'all literally are the, the show right now. Y'all are the faces of hot boys right now because y'all giving everybody so much entertainment when it comes down to the fighting. See, we ain't make it to the reunion yet, but I know it's going to be crazy. Saucy's tired. Like, you want to keep starting drama. You want to keep fighting on the beach. <laughs> I'm screaming. Noah. Every fucking time, every fucking time, Saucy's gonna dog your ass. Saucy's gonna beat your ass. Yeah, Saucy's like, bitch, yeah, I laid your ass on the floor again. You got me fucked up. Every fucking time this hoe wanna play with me, I'ma lay that bitch out every fucking time. Like, stop fucking playing with me, hoe. Like, stop playing. What you thought this was? You thought she was gonna keep on playing with me and bullying me and skids? Like, I'm not the hoes? Bitch, you're going the fuck home now, bitch. Uh, bye. Go home, bitch. You got me fucked up. Everybody cheering and stuff like, yeah, beat that. <laughs> I'm screaming. No, because what? No, you you got all this mouth. You talk too damn much, and I'm sick and tired of your ass. You just need to go, bitch. I'm not about to keep beefing with a bitch up in this house, and 
you ain't doing shit for real, but talking out that mouth. Like, you're just popping out your mouth. Who's calling you? Quick question. Ricky Gremlin and I were planning to spend some casual friend time. Okay, just go ahead. Like, you just keep on popping out your mouth, and I'm sick and tired of it. I'm fucking sick and tired of it. Like, you keep playing with me. You keep fucking playing with me, Noah. Like, I'm sick and tired of this shit. One thing Saucy gonna do is stand on business every time. Like, I feel like he, she, he just literally, like, got sick and tired of Noah picking on him over and over and over again. Like, it's not the Noah show. Noah trying to make this about Noah. Noah, if you really wanted it to be the Noah show, you should have came out with your own series, my, my boy. Like, you doing a lot. Now you really got Saucy fed up. Saucy had enough, and ain't nobody stopping Saucy at this moment. Like we not, we not pulling Saucy back because you've been doing a lot. You've been poking at the bear. Now you got a reaction. <laughs> Yo, I can't. Yo, it's just time for you to go. Pack your shit, bitch, and get out. Noah, what you gonna do? Please fight back. Noah, please fight back. Go out with a big one, cause I really don't want you to go home. But it's just giving like. You just don't belong here. You're not a hot boy. You never once was a hot boy, and you just need to fucking go. Bitch, you was never a hot boy. And I just proved my point for that one. Bitch, you gotta go. Get the fuck on at my house. Like, I'm not about to continue to be paying your fucking bills for you to be playing your hands on me thinking that shit is sweet. Bitch, it's not. I will replace your ass with a heartbeat. Bitch, I'ma see you at the reunion. Because guess what? I already know you're gonna try to come over there with all this shit trying to start shit with me, so I'ma be prepared, ho. I'ma be prepared. So yeah, bye, Noah, bitch. Get the fuck out my house. Because I'm sick of your shit. I'm sick of your shit, and you need to fucking go. Not y'all shoveling the snow. He got promoted. Okay, Kobe. Yeah. Saucy just like, you know what? Noah has to fucking go, bitch. You gotta go, because I'm sick as how do you... I'm sick as how do your stanky says. I'm just sick as how do you always start in drama with me. It's just time to go. Maybe later down the line, you might be able to come back. But bitch, you cannot stay here. So I was told that a real one, a real bitch, you gotta go home. And honestly, I'm not. It's it's really no surprise. It's no surprise that Saucy wants me to die. Because Saucy cannot handle me. You can't handle my mouth. You can't handle these hands, bitch. I'm gonna give a fuck if I got my ass beat all the times that you fought me. I still fought your ass. So it is what it is. But it's been a bittersweet moment. Honestly, I can't really give you guys an experience of what I accomplished or whatever. Because it was no experience. I have not done shit, but once in a club, turned up and fighting. Like, it wouldn't even be a uh, hot boys without me. Like, I'm the face of this shit. Like, I was coming for that crown. I was coming for Saucy's crown. But whatever. Here I am. I'm finna go home, wrap this shit up. It's not gonna be the last time that y'all see this pretty face. Like, y'all bitches will see me again soon. I don't know what it's gonna be. But y'all already know Giselle will have something in store for me because I give y'all life. So... That's my bang. I'm going out with the bang because I already know I'm coming back. So fuck, fuck Saucy. Fuck all these hot boys in this house. I'm going to see y'all bitches at the reunion. Any motherfucker can get it. And that's on period, okay? Okay. You just got to go. You got to get up out of here. We're going to have a replacement, of course. You know what I'm saying? Not you over here um, warming yourself up. But yeah, like we're going to have to get a replacement. Like I said, I'm thinking maybe Debonair. Debonair probably will be the replacement. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see what happens. I might make another sim just to do the replacement thing. We're going to see how it goes, y'all. But I'm going to end it right here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and join the Zebel gang 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 if you haven't by now. We would love to have you guys over here on this side. So subscribe, join the family, y'all. Let's chat it up in the comment section down below. Let me know what y'all thought about the episode. If y'all enjoyed it, let me know as well. Let me know if y'all are enjoying Hot Boys so far. Which I know you guys are because I got a lot of feedback in the first episode. So, yeah, I love y'all so much for that. And I really, really appreciate it. I'm grateful, thankful. I love y'all so much. Without y'all, this would not be possible. So, if I thank y'all so much a lot, I'm sorry. But I really do mean it from the, the bottom of my heart. And honestly, down to my ankles. I love y'all so, so much. And, yeah, I will talk to y'all in the next video. Matter of fact, I'll talk to y'all in the comment section down below. Bye. What's your name? What's your name? Say it in verse. Say it in verse. I won't settle for that. You a hot boy. Hot boy. Hot boy. Hot boy. Hot boy. Hot boy. Hot boy.
with you. Oh, so you need some help. I cook, boy, I cook, boy. I give you more. I give you more. Oh, I got Can I let go? Cheap, oh. I got the platinum 